Hello and welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Check out this thing. Isn't it grotesque? If it's your first time tuning in here, we've been kind of tossing around ideas for this thing in the comments a little bit. So this is going to be our project today. I don't really have a plan at the moment for this. I think we're just going to do a little freestyling and uh, see what we come up with. It needs it needs some help, man. Look at this thing. That motor sticks out so far. That would be kind of convenient though. I mean, you could change the head gaskets really easy on this thing. Anyways, let's get this thing apart. It looks like we got two little baby rivets up front. We're going to have to drill. Jean-Claude Van. Damn, this thing's ugly. OMG. It's kind of an interesting color glass. You know, a little dirty white interior. And here we have a rare specimen. The ginger bush. Save that one. Hell yeah, those are some huge tires, man. Look at the size of these things. Seriously. Like it fits on my finger. Luckily we have these big wheels. Um, this is from a set that McSqueaky sent in. Oh, they fit perfectly too. He sent in one of those M2 builder kits. Had a couple sets of wheels in there. So luckily we got these things and it's like they're made for it. Man, this thing's got four rivets holding in a plastic motor. There was another Mustang Matchbox super fast we did on the channel that I thought had a real cool paint job. Maybe we'll just, uh, if we did that very same paint job, it would kind of make sense because this is a Mustang super fast. There. You know what, this thing just got a little bit better looking. That big huge motor is kind of just cramping the style on this little thing. So it's a little bit sweeter now. I think we're gonna ditch this, cause ooh, car looks better. And I think maybe we'll tone it down a little bit. I got another little blower here. Glee, glee, glee. If we do a nice job of putting this in the hood, I think it'd be a lot cooler looking car by the end of it. Yeah, doesn't that look a little bit better? Cause this looks as absolutely absurd. And I like the big motor cars, but the way this one is just propped on top of the hood like that, man, ugh, can't do it. Can't do it. Another option I thought of was maybe these velocity stacks, but that's just crazy. Like you're gonna get caught on overpasses. You won't be able to go through drive-throughs. Like, nah, man. That looks a lot better. So I think that's what we're gonna do with this little Vantastic today. We're gonna fix this big hole up so that this just fits in there nicely. We'll try and make these big booty judies work in the back. And we should have a pretty cool little wagon. I think. Let's just go for it. You know, be like the old days. Just freestyling. Well, I got our car stripped. A little bit of corrosion here. You can see where the orange is still stuck on there. Leaving a couple dirty spots on this car, but we'll get that cleaned up. I was messing around with the wheels, seeing how everything's gonna fit here. The stance on the front end of this car, I don't know why, but it reminds me of Back to the Future 3 when they had the DeLorean on those white walls and the front end was kind of like jacked up. So I think that's what we're gonna go with for our wheel and tire package. And now we could just maybe work on getting this engine in there. It's gonna look so much better. Pimp. So we'll put that to the side. We'll get going on this body a little bit. So as far as filling in this hood, that isn't gonna be a big deal. We like using this JB Quick Weld High Heat Epoxy Stick. That's been my product of choice for the last few years. It's a little bit crusty. It's a little bit rock and roll. Take care of these barnacles that are on the back here. And we'll take care of these barnacles that are up here. Beautiful man. Those barnacles came off nice and clean. So I've been kind of tossing around ideas of what we should do for the 100k video. If you guys want, I mean, you can leave some suggestions in the comments. Tell me what you guys would like to see. I got a couple ideas. I'm throwing around with the Patreon members. And, you know, we're kind of, kind of working on some stuff a little bit. Another little barnacle up here. 
All right, let's mix up a little bit of putty and we'll fill in our hood void for now. See if we can't get this motor mounted nicely. As always, this is just a two-part epoxy. It's in a big stick. It looks kind of gross, but I've been using it for a couple years. Cut myself a slice of this. It's like plaster scene. Mm, mm, mm. So this is really gonna mess up my gloves, but that's all right. I'll just change them out. I'm not too worried about the extra right now because this stuff, um, when it's half cured, we can easily, easily trim it with a knife. All right, we got our void filled. We got a, a sufficient Plato factory effect happening out the bottom. So I'm gonna go put this in the paint oven and a little bit of heat kind of speed cures this stuff and we'll be able to come back and just trim all that down real easy with a blade. You'll see, we'll be right back. All right, it's been a few minutes in the paint oven. This stuff is, I think it's pretty solid actually. Should be able to just start shaving this. Oh, I put on way too much. What was I thinking? I haven't used this stuff in a while. Usually I get to this stuff a little bit quicker. I let this harden up a little bit too much. Normally I could have just put my knife on here and went shink and just pulled all that off in one big chunk. I let her go too long and now she's, uh, she's set up pretty solid. So hopefully. It's starting to take shape a little bit now. Took me a hot second to get that work down. I put on way too much. I don't know what I was thinking. You guys should have stopped me. Well, that is looking pretty decent. I gotta do some more filing here to get this thing super flush. It's looking pretty good now. A little bit of sanding kind of just polishes this stuff up a little bit. It makes it look good. So now I guess we gotta cut a hole for our new, new little motor to live in. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a rough estimate of where we're going to need to do some cutting. I plan to drill all the way down with a, an engraving bit right down to the metal, I think, where this was sitting originally. So it's nice that we can't accidentally drill too deep on this one. We got a little bit of a safety net there. So I'm going to use one of these. This is a Dremel brand engraving bit. This is good for metal, wood, whatever. Doing these kind of mods on die casts, it's kind of a messy job, but it's, it's actually quite satisfying if you can get it done. Let's try this out. Well, that's a pretty good start. That thing is fairly easy to control. We're gonna switch to something like this now. It's kind of a diamond burr bit. It'll be able to flatten and clean up the walls a little bit. Oh, it's looking so much better already, isn't it? Boop. Nice pressure fit. So it's looking pretty good. Even the angle of the motor is pretty decent. I like that this is like almost level with the top. So that's appealing to my eye. That's so much better than this. Uh, look at it. Uh, uh. All right, I think it's about time we went and put a little bit of paint on here. Our little engine bay mod is looking perfect. Feeling pretty good about that. All right, we're gonna continue freestyling on this thing. I'm gonna take a little of this tequila yellow, which is not yellow, obviously. It's a very, I mean, you might as well call it orange at this point, it's super dark. And I'm gonna go put a ton of coats on here, probably like, I don't know, eight or nine coats. And then uh, from there, we'll, uh, we'll just continue on freestyling and see where we end up with this pure project. All right. So let's head to the spray booth. I'm gonna start with some silver sealer 
as my ground coat on this one. And then we're gonna add some of this tequila yellow until, I don't know, we'll get crazy. We'll put a whole bunch on. It'll be fun, let's go. I don't know if you guys saw my little cup of this tequila yellow before I started. It was like tummy ache brown color. It's crazy how bright it goes on. Bright yellow and then coat after coat after coat. That's how you get this nice dark warm color. Once we get a little bit of clear coat on this thing, it's gonna be gorgeous. But I wanted to do a little bit of black on the hood, you know, Mustang style. So let me just tape that up. Some of my OG subscribers would remember the super fast Mustang I painted a while back. I'm doing a very similar paint job because I'm pretty sure I gave that car away to one of the patron members back in the day. So I'm gonna run back to the spray booth quick. I'm gonna just go ahead and do this little black section and then uh, yeah, we'll move on to the base. So I think I'm gonna end up polishing this base up. I stripped their white paint off. I'd like to have polished bumpers and I'll probably detail the grill and these tail lights. What do you guys think? Should we delete the license plate on this one? I feel like we should. Back end's looking nice and clean. If you don't have one of these mods for your Dremel, Man, I don't know what I would do without this thing. These aren't that expensive either. I think they're like $30 maybe. It's amazing. I can't believe it can keep up with the RPMs. But I like being able to hold it up here like this. All right, I've got our base locked in here to the stand. Now I was gonna try to put some black inside our grill, which is gonna be real, real tricky. I don't know if there's enough chrome there. It kind of act as a little barrier. I'm hoping if our black is runny enough, it'll just kind of leak in there and not get our signal lights and 
I want it to stay inside the chrome, so let's let's give it a shot here. Pretty runny black, so it shouldn't be too bad. Ooh, I got nothing to rest on. Oh, we're doing it. We're we're doing it. I think for me to get around them signal lights, I'm going to have to get it in my hands. I apologize. Good thing I bought these new brushes. These are super, super sharp. I was able to get in there pretty easy. I'm missing. I'm missing. I just have to take off my old spectacles to do that one. Gleek, 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 gleek. That's a nice looking grill, man. I can appreciate that. We got a nice chrome bumper. That looks a lot better. So on the back, I think I want to paint this whole section black except for the chrome and then I'm going to do the tail lights. Yeah, we'll do some black behind the tail lights here. All up in here. Oop. Well, hell yeah, that's starting to look like 72 Mustang now. Gleek, 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 gleek. Just getting ready to do the red on the tail lights. This is super small. I really should be taking my glasses off for this. It's looking pretty good. I haven't used the old flits in a while. This is the good stuff. The original... If you're gonna buy this stuff, buy it in the tube though. Don't buy... <laughs> Don't get the jug because it just sprays everywhere. I'm gonna finish that off with a little professional clear plastic polish made by McGuire's. That was way too much. Sweet, well, as good as new. So we are just waiting on our paint to dry. The base is looking real nice. I hope you guys like my details I did on that. The other thing that I would like to do is I think I'm gonna paint our interior. Should probably just do it in a black, something incognito. Thought I'd give you guys a good look at these details before I do a reveal. That's our front. That's our back. Gleek, 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 gleek. It's looking pretty Mustang now. And of course, here's our body. So I'm gonna do a quick assembly here and then we'll uh, throw this one on the rotisserie or in the light box, wherever it looks best, and uh, we'll do a reveal. Give me a second to put this together. So what do you guys think of this beast? I think it turned out pretty good, I'd drive that. I wouldn't drive it before with that ugly motor that was on there, but now I'm feeling it. This thing's cool, it looks like it would haul buns. You know what I'm saying? Our motor install was nice and clean, it looks good. I'm digging our details. We got chrome bumpers. Hell yeah, man. I wasn't sure how this thing was going to turn out, but uh, I like it. I think it's got the nice diecast resurrection touch. Please leave a like to support your favorite diecast channel, and I will see you in a day or two with another one. Take care, guys. Glee, 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 gl